Hydrogen peroxide is a very useful tool for minor scrapes and scratches, but did you know it can also help get pet stain, blood stains out of your clothes? Uh, that too. Uh, Queen of Clean is here to show how to use peroxide and other items to remove unwanted stains. Today I want to talk to you about getting blood out of clothes, any kind of fabric. Now, I know, maybe if you've got blood all over your clothes, laundry is not your biggest problem. But at some point, you might want to be able to take at least a small amount of blood out of something. So first thing, if you have a larger amount of blood than this on clothes, you can always throw it into a bucket of cold water with salt in it. Now, you'd put in a couple tablespoons of salt, but as you can see, I'm not measuring. It's not brain surgery. Just pour it in. Soak it for at least 30, 40 minutes, and generally the salt will help to break it down. Now, blood is a protein-based stain, so when we're taking it out, we want to digest the protein in that. One thing that works really well is hydrogen peroxide. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this little cloth under here so I don't pour it off, but I'm going to put a little hydrogen peroxide on here. And do you see how it's foaming right there? See, I've got that ball of foam right where the blood is. That means it's actually eating or digesting that blood. And that's what you want it to do. It will remove it. So if the kids come in with a scrape or something and they've got a little blood on their clothes or you get a little on yours, do use the hydrogen peroxide right away because it will digest. And then when you go to launder it, it will take it out. Now, another thing that works really well if you want a really supernatural thing is to put a little water on this and then sprinkle it with meat tenderizer. Now, I would use the hydrogen peroxide first, but meat tenderizer digests protein in meat and that is how it makes it tender. So, sprinkle it on, let it sit an hour or so and that will take it out. So, one of these things will totally work for you. Remember, before you put the item in the dryer, make sure that that blood stain is gone. If it's not, retreat it, starting with that hydrogen peroxide. Now, I want to give you a little bonus tip. If you stick yourself with a needle, if you're diabetic and you're, you're taking your blood sugar and you get a little blood on your clothes, any small amount of blood in it must be your own blood. You can actually spit on it. Your own saliva will digest the protein in your own blood and it will take it out. But you need to do it right away. Now, for you moms out there, we all know, you know, if you spit on a rag and wipe your kid's face off, it doesn't work with the blood. You cannot put your saliva on their blood. It will not work. So there's some quick tips for you. If you are unfortunate enough to have blood on your clothes, if it's an emergency, take care of that first. Laundry can wait.